Yes, just wait until I hang out with the football team and get them some water. We're at SFU. Thanks a lot, you guys. We're in one of the first-year residences here. I'm in the common room. What a lovely view with that beautiful sunrise coming up. We're going to be looking at one of the dorm rooms and see what it's all about in terms of your first-year experience here at SFU. But you know what? I'm going to take in some fine viewing, first of all. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're at SFU right now. We're in the first year residence here, and we're going to one of the dorm rooms. Anna, you're a community Hi. advisor here. How are yes, you? I am. I'm well. Very well. How are you? Cool. I'm great. Thank you. And this is an example of one of the yeah. uh, dorm rooms and the sort of first year experience. Tell us yep. a little bit about the layout here and what uh, first year students are going to get uh, the taste of campus life. Okay, so in a in a residence like this, you would get a room about this size. You would get your own fridge, your own desk, and your own. Wow. As you can see, is your own wardrobe. Um, you'd also have to be uh, in the meal plan. Yes. And, um, you know, just be part of the community, I guess. So meal time, does that mean you're responsible for cooking a meal? No, at not times? at all. That okay. means that uh, you go to the dining hall, yeah. it's open 24-7, and you eat whatever you want. That's awesome. So the fridge is more of a perk. You don't actually need it because you have yeah, access to so exactly. many other great yeah. uh, kitchen yeah. areas. It's just a great perk. I don't know if you want a late night snack and you don't want to go down to the dining hall. Yeah. You just like grab something from your fridge. Well, that can help because, you know, oftentimes you're spending so much time in here. You're studying, um, you know, you're on the computer, that yeah. kind of thing. So it really has to become sort of a little mini yeah. home for you, right? Yeah, it is. And it really is, especially with the community that we have here. Yeah. And you as an advisor here, what's the sort of process in terms of getting new students, uh, you know, orientated I into the uh, the SFU experience? Because it can be a, a challenging thing and it's kind of scary for some people, Yeah, right? of course. It totally is. Um, I guess it's about first you can join the welcome week, right. which is just, you know, getting to know everybody how everything works orientation also helps you out pretty much mm -hmm. but I think just like getting involved and like co going to the common room and speaking to people that really helps out yeah okay great yeah thanks a lot Anna we're That's here sure all uh, morning long Bye. at SFU and uh, we're gonna be doing some science experiments and even hanging out with the football club and uh, maybe I'll try and throw a throw the pigskin a little bit we'll see how that goes Riaz and Jody, back to you. Yes, wearing the live eye hat today. Thanks very much, Riaz. We are at SFU for Back to School Week, and we are in my pantry at the SFU Dining Hall. Coming up, we're going to be talking to a few people and learn about their unique food program here at Simon Fraser University. Chop it up, Reese. So you have a wonderful kitchen here at SFU. I'm with Roxanne, and you are in, involved with the student engagement in the dining services level, right? Absolutely. We do a lot of fun promotions, yeah. contests, just great things to get the students excited about eating and preparing food. Well, that's so much part of the experience because you need food for the body and the mind when you're when you're at school. Talk to me about why my pantry is unique to SFU. This is fantastic. We've got a full kitchen in here that's just stocked, ready to go for the students, so they can actually make whatever they want. They can bring recipes from home. Yeah. Or work off of each other and find out what's exciting in their own kitchens. Wonderful. All kinds of fresh food and you can just go in here and pick it out and it must be great to have like uh, other people do the shopping for you essentially because you're so busy as it is, right? Oh, shopping for you, menu preparation and chefs to help out. Yeah. And you had a really cool event here last year. It was sort of an Iron Chef spinoff, right? We did. We do like to do a lot of different things like that. So Iron Chef was one of them and I think actually you might meet our winner today. Okay. Thanks a lot, Roxanne. Without further ado, yes, we'll go over to Reese. Reese, you were the winner of the Iron Chef Challenge here. Thanks. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Hey, no worries. I'll uh, let you keep going. You're making a wonderful little omelet here. But talk to me about why you enjoy this sort of my pantry system here at SFU. I like it because you get, you have literally every ingredient you could possibly need to cook. Yeah. And you have all the kitchen staff for support. And I don't know. You just have the comfort of like being at home, but also away from home because like you get the opportunity to learn how to cook. And uh, I don't know, I just really enjoyed it my first year. Uh, yeah, and, and it's also like you get to meet so many people in, in the um, kitchen as well, like the sort of communal level, right? Yeah, it's great. Uh, you have people from all over the world coming here, a lot of multicultural elements and uh, a lot of dishes and stuff like that. And because of that, uh, you get to learn, uh, you get to see other people's dishes and they get to learn at yours and you get to try things out and I just think that's... It's a great element to have. Yeah. Awesome, so. dude. Thanks. I'll uh, take my eggs over easy. Thanks very much. And uh, it's a great experience here, Michelle. I might just have to start going back to school because this kitchen is fabulous. It is fabulous. And those eggs look fabulous as well there, Thor. It'll be interesting uh, to hear your critique on those. That's right, Jody. Many students. And we're getting, doing a science twist here at Simon Fraser University. Coming up, we're going to be showing you a little elephant's toothpaste demo getting ready for Science Alive happening next weekend here at Simon Fraser University. Stick around. 
Eat your heart out, Bill, not the science guy. Yes, we're at Simon Fraser University. We're doing a bit of a science twist now as part of our back to school week. I'm hanging with three lovely ladies uh, with a science twist. Sarah, talk to us about a big event happening next weekend called Science Alive. So we're having a community open house for Science Alive. It's our 20th anniversary this year. So to celebrate, we're inviting all our community partners and sponsors and everyone who's just been involved with Science Alive in the past to come out and join us. Okay. Uh, it starts at 10 o'clock in the morning and goes till 3 and it's welcome for everyone. Everyone can come and join in the fun. We're going to have science demonstrations and activities. It's going to be a great success. Awesome. Okay, we'll have a little science demonstration right now. Helen, we're going to be doing elephant's toothpaste, yes, right? Yes, we are. Okay, I think I know what this one is. It sort of uh, gets an explosive sort of finale, right? Yes, it is. But most importantly, we have all our safety equipment already exactly. on. Our eyes are protected, yeah. our clothes are protected, hands are protected. Good we're going call. to be using some big chemicals here. Okay. okay? So, Thor, can I please get you to pour in the hydrogen peroxide? Will do. Until I say when. Just in here? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Just hydrogen like peroxide going in. Yeah. You say when. And that's good. All right. Perfect. All right, so here's the dish soap. If you want to pour some of that in, again, I'll tell you when. Okay, just everyday common dish soap. Everyday, that's good. It's perfect. All right. All right, so, and because we're at SFU, I got two lovely SFU colors. Did you want the red while Excellent. I took the blue? Great. Awesome, so you can just dip some in down the edge just like that. Okay. Got a red and your blue for us a few colors. Yes. And when you're ready, we can take our solution of potassium iodide and dump it in. Should we get a countdown maybe from three? <laughs> three, three, two, two one. one. The whole thing? Whole thing. Now move your arm. Woohoo! All right, now, Bianca, tell us what actually was happening there in terms of that reaction. All right, so what happens is the hydrogen peroxide actually has the same makeup as water, except yeah. for an extra oxygen. So naturally, what it wants to do is break down the H2O and oxygen molecules, making it really reactive. And so it wants to react with the potassium iodide, and then you get that explosion with the dish soap. It gets caught in the bubbles, yeah. and it goes up. Wow! It's still going! <laughs> Beautiful. I'm glad we didn't have a lot of people eating their breakfast yeah, close by. <laughs> awesome stuff, you guys. It's okay. science alive, right? Yes. Okay, that's happening next weekend at SFU. Thanks so much. Wonderful stuff here. We've got all kinds of great stuff. Coming up, we've got a full weather report from Russ. It's going to be a hot one on the weekend. And later on in the live, I, I will be joining the football team, temporarily, that is. Stick around. That's right, Riaz. We're at SFU. We're outside. And coming up, we're going to be uh, talking to a few members of the SFU football team. Hi. Yeah. We're running some drills. Hit me. We're going to be giving 110%, I tell you. Throw it Thanks down. Thanks you guys. We're talking to members of the SFU football team. Michael, how exciting is it? I got this thing in, so it's a little tough. How exciting is it to be back for another season? I can't wait. I mean, we've all been training really hard all summer, and to get out there on Saturday, it's just going to be awesome. Right on. Okay, thanks. Keenan, uh, talk to me about sort of the uh, preparation that goes in and the com camaraderie of the team building. Well, we, we all are sacrificing our summers being out here training. Um, we got training camp. We got practice. So we're all really close because we've all put in the work together, and... Uh, yeah, it just brings us closer together as a team, knowing that everybody put in that work. Awesome. All right. Now, there's a big game coming up on Saturday. Derek, tell us all about that. Yeah, we have a new coaching staff, I think a new team in general at all, and we're very excited for the game. It's supposed to have a lot of fans out there, and we're ready to show out and show what we have. So it'll be at Swan Guard Stadium Swan on Guard Saturday, Stadium, right? yes, yeah, at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, who are you guys playing? Versus Menlo, Menlo College down okay. in California. And tickets are as low as $8, actually, $8. for that as well. Yes. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, and Jacques, you are the co-chair, and uh, talk to me about the importance of sort of uh, the team building and just, uh, you know, making sure all the guys are properly motivated for the practices and the games. Yeah, well, we've got a great bunch of guys here, you know, and then coming into the situation last year in the spring, we had an opportunity to go through spring camp. And uh, I think that the fellows have worked really hard. We've got, like I said, good character people. And I do believe that uh, one of the keys uh, to our success this year will be uh, to stay together as a family. And the guys have really uh, done well doing this through training camp this fall. Okay, take me through one of the drills, actually. Speaking of training camp, this is sort of a setup that you would see similar to, uh, to what the guys go through, yeah, right? Yeah, we're going to have a, a little bit of a hybrid drill here okay. because you're a special athlete, really, for us. That's right. And then, uh, so this is uh, Justin will basically take you through this drill. We'll yeah. step over these bags here yeah. sideways like a running back would. Okay. You'll take the ball from Justin. He'll throw you the ball. So that, that'll display your receiver skills, okay. first of all. And then after you've gone through the ball, the, 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 the bags, you will explode through the bag there and, and do your, your best to break the tackle. Oh, I will explode, all right. Thanks a lot, Jacques. Okay, great. hit me. Let's try this out. Bam! Oh, not after a good start. Go, 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 go. Oh, there you go. Back to you guys. Russ is coming up with a weather report. It's going to be hot in the weekend. 